Hello to all my Facebook and YouTube friends, and my real friends as well, which most of you are my friends on Facebook and YouTube. <laughs> so I guess we're doing the same thing, I guess. So um, the reason for the video today is um, a friend of mine named Karen uh, posted a picture of a um, caramel and whipped cream coffee drink on Facebook this morning, and um, it gave me inspiration to make one myself, uh, since I have the coffee bar here. Now, I've, uh, I've shown uh, pictures of this coffee bar in the past um, um, that I have in my house, but I've never done a video before uh, on it. So I thought I'd go ahead and, and uh, since I was inspired by Karen this morning to uh, make a coffee and uh, drink with uh, caramel and whipped cream, I thought I'd give me an opportunity to show all my friends my bar and how it all works. Now, the one thing about Karen's drink uh, is that uh, because it was in a solid coffee cup, um, I'm not sure if it was a cup of coffee or a milkshake. She didn't really go into detail. Uh, I'm going to assume it was a cup of coffee. So uh, that's what I'm going to make, but I'm going to use espresso instead. I'm going to make it all uh, from scratch. I'll show you the process, um, let you see me uh, work with the equipment. Now, I do not know how to make all the funny little designs uh, in the crema, uh, so I'm not a true barista in, in that respect. Uh, I just make coffee to drink. And as you can tell, I, I like several different varieties of coffee. This right here is a single cup maker uh, by uh, Bun. It's called a My Cafe. Uh, you can take this drawer out and then you can put like a, um, a large mug, like a travel mug in there to make a cup. It also has attachments to make tea uh, or just hot water for hot chocolate. And then this right here is a, is a 15 bar uh, espresso maker. It uses a thermo uh, block or thermo coil, I guess they call it, um, uh, boiler. To boil the water so it, it just boils the water almost instantly just like this does and this right here is a 12 up to a 12 cup uh, coffee pot uh, by Breville it also allows me to make individual sizes Whoop. turn power on here you can do it, you pour, as you pour the water in it tells you how many cups it's going to make so you can stop at however many cups you want like you can take a thermos fill it up pour it in there so you have the exact amount of water to make a, a pot of coffee for a thermos and then it grinds the amount of beans necessary for that, depending on what flavor level and what strength you want to make it. So that's pretty cool. Then over here, I've got my, um, 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 who makes this? It's, um, Barazza is the company that makes this, an Italian company. It's called the Virtuoso Grinder. It's got 45 different grind positions on it. And then over here, you can see it here. This is my uh, coffee station area where I have my already ground coffee and then my filters because I like to kind of do a, um, a K-cup kind of thing, but I don't like using real K-cups. So I, I make my own K-cups and I got tea and uh, all the different uh, flavors and stuff you need. So it's like having your own coffee shop uh, right here in my house. So that's like the grand tour. I've got all the different um, accoutrements down here as well, uh, including steamer pitchers and stuff like that. So I'm not going to make any, um, any, any steam uh, latte milk. I'm going to use the whipped cream for that. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we have to do, I've already got fresh water. Yep, I've already got fresh water in the, in the um, espresso maker. I'm going to go ahead and grind some beans. So I'm going to take my, uh, my um, portafilter here, clean it out from the last time I used it. Okay. And I'm going to grind some beans. So I'm going to grind my beans first. That's hot. <laughs> Been warming up most of the day. I've had a few drinks out of it already this morning. Okay, so that goes there. All right, that's looking pretty good. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's ground the way I like it ground. Um, this is a, a real black art when it comes to grinding coffee and making espresso. Uh, there is no real instruction, you know, do this, do that, do this. Uh, there is a book that shows how to make all these drinks, but there's no real, I mean, this right here, learning what grind setting to use, how much tamping pressure to use for the type of um, espresso maker you've got, really is, is, is a black art. And it's taken me a long time to figure it out and playing with it, and I've thrown away a lot of coffee, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, a lot of coffee has not survived this process. But I think I've got it down now to where it actually works fairly routinely for me. Uh, and I get a, a pretty predictable result. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and tamp down my uh, my coffee grounds. 
Again, this is one of those things where it's part of that art where you don't want to push too much. If you push too much, it'll clog your, your porta filter and you won't get any water coming out of it. If you have it too loose, it comes out too fast, which means you don't get a full good flavored coffee. It ends up being kind of bitter tasting. So this is all part of that black art I was telling you about. So I'm going to go ahead and get this up in here. I'm going to use a clear cup so we can actually see it. Um, and about halfway full of this is um, two shots, which is what this drink requires. So we're going to go and get this in here and uh, let's see what happens. Now I'm razzing Karen. I, I'm sure that was a cup of coffee she had in there, but it, it could have been a milkshake. I'm not really sure. There we go. You can see the stream. Got a nice looking crema coming up there. Crema is the top layer that you get on a, on espresso. Uh, that's the stuff that they do the art in, is the crema. They, they, they pour the steamed milk and then the crema coming up is what allows it to make the art. So let's see, that should be good right about there. That finish off a little bit there. Okay, that looks good. Let me go right there, see if you can see that. See, that's crema right there. All that is what's called crema. And that means that's a pretty good shot right there. I think most people, most baristas would agree that's nice. If it was in a shot glass, but I have it all in the same glass here. So I want that set and settle a little bit there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some salted caramel syrup. Um, this is really what's going to give it the caramel flavor. I'm going to pour about a shot of this into there, which is a little over an ounce. That's probably good. It's like a 400 calorie <laughs> coffee drink. And then I'm going to use some, uh, some whipped cream. Now this whipped cream has been in the fridge. I just pulled it out before I started this video. So uh, this is not somewhere where I set it and keep it stored. It uh, actually feels nice and cold. You can feel it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and shoot some of this in it. Like that. There we go. Look at that. And then we're going to take our caramel topping, our caramel sauce. Look at that. And there you have it. Can you see that right there? Does that look? Let's set up there and yeah, that looks yummy. So there you go. I really do use this stuff. <laughs> I, I know it looks like it's just on display, but I use it daily. In fact, when I go on long day trips, I, I make a thermos using this. So this all stuff, this stuff all gets used on a pretty regular basis. So if you're ever in the area, give me a call, stop by, I'd be more than happy. Love to make you a cup of coffee. Maybe even make you a salted caramel a latte. So, till next time, take care, guys. Thanks. All right, and just to finish off my video, um, baristas will tell you that there's two ways to tell if you've made a good um, a good espresso shot. One, of course, is how much crema you have. The more crema you have, the more flavor you have. Uh, the other way is when you're done, you take a look at your um, espresso grounds. This is called a puck. And you see if it's dry or if it's wet and loose. If it's dry, like it is right now, that means you've made a really good shot. Um, you've gotten all the, you've extracted all the flavor uh, from the coffee grounds, um, and you haven't left anything behind. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it over here to a thing called a knock box. This is a previous puck in there, and we're going to knock it, and we're going to see if it comes out in one piece or not. So uh, let's give it a shot here and see what happens. Oop, try it again. No, no, it kind of crumbled up, but it's very hot still. So, but you can see it's dry. There's no water in there of any kind. So that's good. And it tasted good. All right, there you go, guys. You have your coffee lesson for the day.